Hey guys, I haven't done a video in a long time. I want to do a real quick video on a couple of snub noses. I got this Colt Detective Special, and I've been telling everybody I got it, but I haven't shown anyone it. I picked this up, oh, probably a month and a half ago. I thought it was a Series 3. They made four series of this Colt Detective Special. And I thought it was a Series 3, but once I did some investigating on Google and checked out the serial numbers, I found out this is probably 99% chance this is a Series 4. Series 4 was made from 1993 to 1995, so it's still not a new gun, but the gun is unloaded. And has a two inch barrel. Has the floating hammer. Real light trigger pull for a belly gun. Really well made. And maybe you can see this. There's the bony on there. And there's the business end. the cylinder release latch is unique to Colt and it's just it looks like it's never been fired if it has been fired it's been very very few rounds put through it now this isn't no Colt Python but it is a very well made snub nose revolver has the original wood grips which someday I think I'm going to put some actual ivory grips on it. This gun started being produced, believe it or not, in 1927. If you watch any of the old, old, old movies like Humphrey Bogart and that, you'll see this gun. Now, this is new to it. It's the shroud over the ejector rod. This used to be unprotected. It was just sitting out there. And those are older Colt Detective Special, Colt Detective Positives, and they are very collectible. I am not a collector. I collect guns, but I mean I don't collect guns for just for the sake of collecting them because they're old. But there's certain guns. I had one of these 30 years ago and I just wanted to get one back. Mine was a nickel though, which I don't like nickel. I mean they're shiny and pretty but they, they're they hard to take care of. They stain real easy and actually they pit real easy too from what I've seen. Anyway that's the Colt Detective Special I've told you a lot about. And there it is. Now here is a Smith & Wesson Model 36. I've had this in some of my videos, but I've never just had it stand out by itself. And this is unloaded. This is another beautiful snow nose revolver. Uh, Humans for Targets 2. Paul just did a video showing the differences between the old Smith and Wessons and the new ones and he was pointing out about the case hardening and you can see hopefully the case coloring on there they call it case coloring or case hardening they're not doing that anymore and if you go over to human for targets he does a real good video explaining what they do now and why the revolvers ain't quite as good as they used to be and this also has the floating hammer. And this gun's pretty old too. They're still making this, but this one's an older one. 